Welcome back to a new Ash Design tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through using this logo to create a custom brush that you can then use to watermark your images. And this is a pretty simple process, but it takes a few specific steps. So I'm going to walk you through step by step and show you how you can take one of the logos purchased from ashdesign.com and use it on all of your images. We're going to dive right in and the very first thing we're going to do is come over here to our layers palette and we're going to turn off the background layer. All of our logos will have this background layer, it's just a white layer in the back, and to turn it off you just click this eye and you'll see it just takes away that white background. The next step is going to be to merge the layers. And you can do this a couple of ways. You can right click in your layers palette and merge group, or you can go to layer, merge visible layers, or that would be a shift command E if you use the keystrokes. And you can see as soon as I do that, it takes away all those extra layers and I just have my logo layer and my background layer, which is still turned off. The next step is going to make sure that our image is not too large for a brush. So I'm going to go to image and image size. And the largest image size we can have is 2500 and you can see I'm at 3600. So I'm just going to put this at 2500. And you can do any size smaller than that, but we'll just keep it large in case we have the need for it to be big and click OK. And now it's time to set up our brush. So I'm just going to go Edit, Define Brush Preset, and it just pops this up so I can name my brush and I'm going to call it Artistic Images Logo and select OK. Now once I've done this, all I have to do is select my brush tool and select the brush I created from my palette and you'll see right there is my brush and I will be able to stamp it on. So the next step we're going to go through is I'm going to go over to my image that I already have open and you can see I have my brush selected and it's really big so the first thing I want to do is decrease the size of that. Now I use my left bracket to decrease this down and the right bracket to increase it. You can also change the size of your brush right here with this little slider. Once I have a size that I'm happy with I'm going to create an extra layer, which I've already done over here. Um, let me just delete this and show you how you create that layer. There's this little icon right down here, and if you click on that, it creates a new layer. And then I just named this watermark so that I know what it is later on. And from here, we can just add our watermark right directly to that layer. Uh, now if I do it right now it's going to be in red and I want to switch that to a white. So I'm just going to make sure I have my white here and I'm going to go ahead and just click there and you'll see that it paints it right onto my image and if I turn that layer off, my watermark layer, it'll get rid of that and I just click the eye and it comes right back on. You can also do some other things. This logo is just a little bit soft for me in this picture so I'd like to sharpen it a little. So I'm just going to go filter sharpen, sharpen more, and that just makes it a little bit more crisp. The other thing you can do is, because it is on another layer, even though I stamped it on, I can move it around on that layer and place it somewhere else if that makes more sense. Um, I kind of like it up in this corner, but just wanted to show you that you have that flexibility and that's one of the reasons that you want to create that extra layer to put it on because if you stamp it directly on the background, then it's attached to your, to your photo. So from here you could just save your image and then upload it um, to show people online and it would have your logo right there with you. This has been another Ash Design tutorial teaching you how to create a custom logo brush and then apply that as a watermark to your images.